Cycling is one of the healthiest and most environmentally friendly ways of getting from A to B. Our car tester Reinhold Deisenhofer says the numbers bear this out, with about 72 million bikes in Germany. Many people who want to ride their own bike on holiday bring it with them, either on top, on the back, or inside the car. But safety experts aren't too fond of roof bike racks. Herbert Köhler owns a bike shop, and he's familiar with all the different bike transportation systems. He says roof racks are suited only to lightweight racing bikes. They're easier to lift, and the mounting equipment doesn't have to be quite so sturdy. Bikes on the roof may vibrate or sway, and that can be dangerous. So that leaves inside the car or on the back. Hitch-mounted bike racks are especially useful on longer trips. The bike rack is attached to the trailer hitch on the car. A turn of the key and the rack is secured. Then hook up the electrical connection for the trailer's rear lights, mount the bikes on the rack and secure them. Einhold has a few tips. To make mounting faster and easier, it's best to remove everything that's detachable and heavy from your bike first. That includes the water bottle and the bike basket. Then there's e-bikes. An e-bike can weigh 30 kilos, and the battery is heavy and expensive. So it's best to remove the battery and the speedometer, which could fall off, and put those in your car. The number of bikes you can transport depends on your car's permitted load weight, so be sure to check that first. Reinhold says that even if you're not slowed down by sun, rain, or other glitches, remember, thieves are everywhere. So be sure to lock up your bikes, too, and put a license plate on the rack, since your car's plate is hidden. Your car will be longer with the rack on it, so parking aids won't work properly, and the extra weight also affects handling. Inside the car, your bikes will travel in comfort, but you'll have less space for passengers and cargo, of course. Clamping the bikes to an inside bike rack is a simple process. Reinhold says a universal system makes adjusting the rack to the width of your car a snap. Remove the bike's front wheel, put the bike in the trunk, secure the bike fork, and you're done. Herbert Kurla says that if you have expensive bikes, inside racks are nice because you're not risking scratches, damage, or dirt. And they're theft-proof, so inside your car, your bikes will usually be safe. With the bike safely stowed inside the car, you can set off. With an inside rack, driving speed isn't an issue. But rear-mounted racks can come with speed restrictions, so be sure to check your user's manual, mounting instructions, and any rating plates on the rack. And whatever the speed limit for your rack, it's best to stay under 130 kilometers an hour on the highway. <laughs>